Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. This is the sheep farm that we stopped at last time. I want to remember to set, select four rams to send into the system to end up in the tannery. But I want to wait until they have had their wool sheared. So that's not going to happen just yet. Um, plans for today. I was noticing an awful lot of carts coming in. While I was sitting there getting ready to start. Storage is full in the trading post. Aha. I had set that for 12,000. I went ahead and dropped it down to 10. Just in case that's what the cause was. Um, really, we just need to get rid of a bunch of these. 32, 35 sounds familiar from last episode. 1,000 of those, 1,000 of those. We bought 900 of that. Bought 500 of that. So you are waiting for something to get loaded. And as that's loading, we should see this symbol go away. Yep, just did. Okay. So you are grabbing charcoal. So, well, let's see how many more of these are grabbing charcoal. We had 11,000 in there. We needed 13,000, 15,000. What were we looking for? We're down to 10 again. Um, of 15. So 2,000 is left so far. Of so, you're doing the sunflower oil. Okay. So, once the... Yeah, once a couple more thousand leaves, others should be bringing it in. And I think we'll make that out okay. We'll see. Anyway, I was just noticing this right here that reminded me. Something I didn't even see last time is we've got a priest. So, that surprise over here with this house. Yeah. Suddenly filling up with a new family when I didn't even know anybody had moved out, but apparently she had moved back in with her kids. Maybe here? No. Um, probably here. And vacated the house. So they moved in, and they are now living all the way out over here. I talked earlier many episodes ago about moving them into this house yeah I might still do that we'll just see how things work out up here um, that way close to work and one thing that I was curious about as I was getting or in between episodes getting ready for this one is how did he go from five Find the home. Five gold coins, like I noted last time, with this this family with their two-year-old without noticing a hat, um, is already 24. So I'm curious what you know. How how does he get paid? And I had noticed that the folks come up, they cross themselves, they go in, and I only got to see one time. And as soon as she had done that, that went up 20 cents. I thought, oh, is that like a tithing system? So I was going to come back over here and stare at this a while. Of course, now nobody will uh, walk over and... Oh, got a couple folks just left. So we're at 24.33. And slow down. Are you going to stop and add to this? 53. So one did and one didn't. And was that real or was that a coincidence? She's working the farm. Was that a wage payment that the game just dealt with? So 53, let's see what happens here. Nothing. Is it like every third or fourth person? Okay, not every third. So we're at fourth now or that was just a coincidence. Yeah. Hmm. And they've done their... Their confessions or what have you, and they're leaving. He is working, right? No, he's not even there. Never mind. <laughs> he's at home right now, taking a rest. Anyway, that was just an interesting uh, observation that I don't know if it's real or, or not. We just happened to be there for the one time that, that it worked. Anyway, shearing probably happens in March. Let me speed this up a bit. Anything else going on? We... I did put in these two lots as as far down as I could get before it was too long we'll do one more as soon as all of this building material leaves and then take that down form a new road over here somewhere as 
far down as I can go and I don't know what's going to happen right over here. We'll come up with something else, more cart parking or something. But these two are ready to be built. We've got one lot left up there, one over here. So there's four houses left. Right now we are working on these, on, on the row house. And need to talk once again about the pigsty. There was a lot of comments came in, pro and con, against or for. And one comment was that it could be out over here. We could dedicate some of these fields to food just for it. And that's possible. Um, what I have, what I understand, pigsty will take a full pigsty will take about 4,000 food a year. Now, one family, if I'm correct, say these guys, family of five, will have to store 500 food a year. So that's eight apartments to be the same as one full pigsty. So two row houses to do to be a. Uh, and uh, to be a, equal to a pigsty. So that's a lot of food. But and I, another idea um, came in as we were commenting back and forth. We don't have to fully stock a pigsty. We could very well just put a few pigs in. You know, 10 or 2 just to see the operation. Cows are, are coming in. Cows over here. Sheep are being sheared. Let's see here. Zero with 1,439 on their way in. Okay. These. Interesting. What did I do wrong there? On season, March. Oh, so we've got different on seasons. Okay. So you. Oh, what was I looking at? I was looking at these. This one right here. Okay. So this one's on, this one's on, this one's on only because I was trying to do that experiment and see if I can get this thing to work in the ice. Anyway, so over here we've got it in, somebody's going to come to work soon, and right there, going to work, and you'll be leading the pig, the, uh, the sheep out to pasture. There they go. So at this point we could go ahead and set four rams right here so ram of four three three and three i think that would work so the shearing is definitely done so we're not going to get any milk out of these guys <laughs> so four will give us a full run here there's zero waiting and there is zero up here so four is a full batch for this guy set at 200 so that works out just fine and I'll just kind of work this in bursts like that and see how this goes for a while. I've got time to do it manually. I don't mind. You are no plow. You are plow. And they're already starting to do all of the sewing. And got four people hired over here. This one should be pretty much with a full roster, right? Yeah. whole bunch over there. How you guys doing? You've got quite a few. Good. So enough to do that one and get started on this one. I think she's starting right there. Okay. Um, two plows over here. Did these, this other plow get done? It did. So these two got done simultaneously. All right. So this will get a little more complex when we've got six fields over here. Six smaller ones versus four bigger ones. I think it'll work out pretty much the same. So you're done plowing. <clears throat> this one's fallow. And this one didn't need plowing. So everything is ready to sow over here and you are sewing so this one's done and we're working on that one okay um how are we doing on coal so another 2000 is on its way in yeah so as it leaves i'm pretty sure they can pretty much maintain as long as it's nearby did we move that to it wasn't here there was the idea of putting charcoal near enough to here or i guess not just storing it in here yeah we got rid of it over here so it'll be stored directly in here. And it's just across the bridge. If you think of it, it's all right over here. So it's not that long of a trip. Otherwise, we've got charcoal stored up in here. And there's none. So they probably stole it all out of there to go feed the uh, the trader. Yeah. Which then harms these guys. So if I were to increase the charcoal over here, it probably wouldn't do any good when we're selling 10,000 at a time. huh? There is more room. Thatch 
of a thousand, nails of five hundred, iron of potentially two thousand, and that someday will start filling up on us because we're making some. And firewood, that was the big thing, is getting firewood over here. Let's. Yeah, we'll leave that as it is. But we could. Well, we, we're calling for 5,000 charcoal, so we're calling for a, a good load. It's just not getting over here, especially with the cart sheds not operating right now. We're still on 0.2. Yeah, I haven't checked to see if anything changed. Still on 5.5.2. All right, so I just saw Durkachi, and you're the ones that are already here, so I doubt there's anything new to sell to you. Yeah, you're, you're buying all of our charcoal right now. So I'm not even going to try to deal with charcoal again. We don't need iron, iron ore, pigs, cows, horses, whatever is hiding down there. Salad we just got, dried fish we just got, potatoes we have. So I think we're... Apples, we have a thousand to get us to July. And apples are looking like half-life, so we're fine. Okay, so nothing to do there. What else is going on? So we're building you. And we're clearing trees, so we got one house cleared, and then I've got nothing else to do except for a fishing dock out there, or I went ahead and stuck a smeltery back into here, just to, these guys I'm just building just to make it look busy out here. We're going to build you, we got nothing to build over here, so I need to figure out what goes in this area. Um, what would a fishing dock or a boat yard look like, even though we can't get boats well, we could. I never thought about that. I could stick another boat yard in, then we can put more fishing docks out. I thought I was, yeah, that never even occurred to me. We, This right here was a barrier for the boat yard over here and these fishing docks, but yeah, we could have just put another boat yard in. Interesting. Whether we use it or not is another thing. I'm just thinking about what it would take to really make this look like a busy shoreline as far as our industrial island. These guys are just for show. And so they're going to fire across like that. Do we want them for show? They were the only thing I could think of at the time to use, but we could use this guy and not have everything blocked. I kind of like that better. So we'll give up on that with another barrier across the river. And let's put a few more buildings like this in here just to make it look like this is nice and busy we could even put another one out over here i kind of like it. it has a lot of building materials but eh, we're fine with that so they're there though maybe fishing should be over there just to make it look a little different you're about there and what's fishing look like grab one of you guys right there Yeah, I think so. You're there. Actually, we'll get rid of you. Which one? Um, what do I want here? You. Yeah, I can't really see it. Let's go back to you. Okay. So, where do we want the boats? This guy with the boats, the dock and the boats. Versus... The boat should be near the bridge. I think this should be fishing dock. Demolish and grab another one of you. Oh, there you go. So set you like so. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so we can build these out just for the show. Just make it look good. We might actually use it at some point. I don't know. Um, so in that case, we got a house to build. Then we're going to move into... Um, this one first, in case I decide to put more charcoal out over there. Though charcoal could go over here too. This one first. You are that one. So bring you up after that house. There was... No, the noise was me getting rid of these guys. Smelteries. Boatyard. Okay. So... Alright, we'll build that one. And we'll build that one. You're right there. They're just getting big enough now to where I can see the little yellow outline again. All right, so we're going to build those two for show and just to stall because I'm not ready to start putting houses out over here yet. And I think I'm going to 
probably get hops going at about the same time as that and a few other things so for that matter we could get the get this guy built too you are right there so we'll move you in at this point and see if these three house you know, all the trees get taken down by then okay so you have moved in you got bees on one little part that was moved in before you're still waiting no you're being this is good materials not bad materials and these no this is the bad materials yeah we need to get these boards out of here there's only 32 of them and I've got you know, I'm trying to force them to empty it so somebody will walk up there someday and do that and we'll lay out the last house okay so we are mid-march and this farm over here should be completely sowed and it is this sows pretty quickly small fields so small quantities but we do get a lot of growth out of that you are done you are done those two are and over here only half done yeah this is the one that never really gets a full season of growth in any of its fields yeah that's just the way it is maybe that will change as we get into this this neighborhood over here okay so pigsty i think is over here somewhere i think so i mean it's possible we could employ them from who's living over here we did it nearby but it just doesn't feel like an agricultural area it needs to be out over here is there anywhere else I've overlooked? I mean, this feels like the best area because it's right next to the uh, to the slaughterhouse. But even then, this slaughterhouse is so far away from where we use the tallow. There's no winning solution. No matter what you do, somebody is you know, in the chain of of uh, events. There is going to be in the wrong place. So, but this would shorten the path of at least one leg of it by getting it out over here. We do have chickens over here. We have nobody living right here. These are, are, you know, small granaries. Maybe this is where the pigs go. I kind of like that. Um, there was a comment about a large cemetery uh, going in somewhere, and the thought of the woods out over here might be a good place for it. It's kind of a an area that is off to the outskirts, which is reasonable rather than taking up valuable real estate in town but I've always pictured a church out over here with its cemetery so that from the town you can see the church on the hill let's see what's the front that's the front so it'd be something like that out over there when the town reaches that point over there and that's where I thought the next big cemetery would go. And it seems reasonable to have it near the, the iron mines <laughs> where you're likely going to lose some of your population due to injury. Yeah. That was my thought. I don't know that we're ever going to truly get around this whole thing and get it all filled. We'll see. I don't know how much longer the series is going to go. I'm not, I don't have the goal of filling the map. Let's put it that way. I want to see all the things built and everything functioning right and, and a good economy and everybody's happy and no angry messages above any of the houses. That's my goal. So we can see the process, see how it all works. Like the tanning right now. So have you guys done your thing? Only one has ever left because I'm running slow. That's why. So you are over here and we've got mutton. Now what I found out I didn't realize it is that we don't get tallow from sheep that is a cow thing and probably horse I've heard of ho horse tallow and I've heard of cow tallow I don't remember what that's from is that from boiling the bones is that or is that something to do with the fat the animal fat and does that mean that sheep don't have bones or or fat in order to get tallow but tallow just seems to come from the cows that I've seen I've never butchered horses so I don't know but it seems like that was kind of the big thing back around what the depression years that you know actually when when cars 
began to become popular and everybody who had a horse suddenly didn't want their horse anymore so so many horses were abandoned and, and sent to the uh, the slaughterhouses so i'm pretty sure tallow was part of that conversation back then as well as dog food and all kinds of other things so that's probably part of why there's such a negative connotation in regard to uh, um, butchering horses. I just saw something I want to do here. Give me a three rail fence and and there to there doesn't work. Okay, let's go from there. Oh, you won't give me an angry message till I click. I see. So let's alt drop you down to here. Okay, carts are taking this itty bitty little path here. I thought I got that close enough to stop that from happening. That's crazy. Okay, so what I might, what am I doing now anyway? I'm just kind of rambling along here. You get a kind of sense of where I got part of my, my YouTube name. Actually, Rambler was meant for open world games to kind of roam around and explore. That was the Rambler part. But um, it, it works for conversation as well. <laughs> well, I guess we could check in over here. This guy's just about ready to finish. And Anybody working? Visiting a church, visiting a tavern, drink of water, buying food. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of activity, though, out on this road. And as we get more houses over here, they should widen this and fill it all in. We'll see how that goes. You're building now? I think I saw someone jump inside there. Unless he went to the uh, to the barber surgeon. That's possible. 20 last month. We're up to 96. So you guys are surviving out here now. And we are almost done. Get all the brickwork in there. Then we'll put the... Uh, I want to say whitewash. That looks like the texture of brick in there. Though this looks more like a plaster or a clay over the surface. Probably a plaster. But otherwise it looks like it's whitewashed brick over on the end here. Now I don't know how to get rid of the look of the end. That is a thing. I wish there was one with windows on the end. But that isn't, uh, isn't an option. There you are. Yeah, even the corner house. Is either, you know, either get it at the end or you get it on the side. Um, married and have moved in. So do we want to try anything here? We could try to do this. You, know, you guys, you're at the trading post and you're at the market stall. So you're going to hate me for this, but I could propose relocating you to here. And that worked. And then... Did that already vacate? It did. I could propose relocating you right there to this place. And it worked. Okay. Doing that when you, the game is paused is the, the key to doing it successfully as we found out the hard way. Okay, so unfortunately you guys work in bad places now, but hopefully that will, at least next August that should change I think so she will no yeah diet of old age okay I need to deal with that but you are working here not sure which one you are it wasn't this house was it oh you're now way up there that's right you're just not there anymore so let me see you this way which one was that? Right there. You are Marina. And you right there. Okay. So we're going to drop down to one worker. You're not the very first one. So these three will go away in May. And then she will relocate and find another job. Okay. So seasonal hiring does do a pretty good job of relocating people that are working too far from home. Okay, broken a hand and we've lost a box. So you unfortunately won't tell me. So let's grab that one-year-old ox right there. Drop you into here. 
And now will you tell me? Nope, gotta wait for him to be delivered. As far as, were you the other one-year-old? Last time. So you are going to work. Nope, you went right on by. Anybody coming to work? Buying, visiting, and taking. Okay. Uh, nobody is going. Nope, nobody's going to, going to work. It'll be a while. Okay, how you doing? I see a lot of people rolling in and out. So, firewood has changed a little bit, but that's about it. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe charcoal will make it up here eventually. Uh, anybody working now? No. One just quit. <laughs> well, we'll get this taken care of before next next spring at least. Uh huh. So, you are now a family of 34... 88 went down to 34.28 so getting paid pretty good income of seven something okay new family settling into town over here so slow it back down again so we're bringing folks in so which means we need to find some jobs for them time to lay out this road and decide what goes over here and then play the problem of who's going to take the trees down in order to make that happen. Are you guys doing anything now? You have no more red X's. So you guys have got a full roster and you are... There you go. Speed you up. You're just taking it randomly out of the forest now, aren't you? Yeah, so you're not doing anything specific. You're just heading over to the nearest tree and boom, boom, boom taking it down okay so I need to give you guys some marching orders I need to plan some businesses over here I've kind of been waiting for enough people and I think we're about there now to run a glassworks and a pottery and some of the buildings like that also want to think about laying out that school that tavern um, another chapel over here would probably be beneficial and how that all works I don't know we got one more building here we don't we do have one more there and one more there. So only two more have been planned. What happens at the end? I'm not sure. Is there one more row house or are we done here? And think about another one out over here somewhere. Was another thought. Family moving in. And then we've got... I think this is the best place for our at least first pigsty. I think that works. It's not close to food. Food's eventually going to be clear over there. But... That will be fine. If we one person should bring enough, we enable laborers, we, they should gradually keep feeding this thing. What's pigsty look like? You are over here, probably next to the sheep. Yeah, next to the sheep. You look a lot like a chicken coop. Where's the chicken coop at? Why can't I see you? Sheep, chicken? Oh, over there. Okay. So chicken coop is there. Pigsty is there. So you're an L. And I've got a big yard, but you've got a closed-in yard. Okay, not quite the same. You would be something like there. And houses are over here. So best to go up here or even walk a pathway up behind and get the, the smell of the pig yard even further away. Huh. I think that looks pretty good right there. I do. Hmm. I'm getting closer because those green letters there are kind of blocking the end of the building. So if I did something like that. Pigside will need water. We've got it right there already. Whether That should be enough because we're not going to deal with a lot of pigs right now. Um, I think that's the answer. Okay. Water for production only and we're full so we're fine there you can go in soon in fact you can go in, in front of all those other ones the uh, fishing dock and all the all the fake buildings you can go in there and I think this tree one of these trees needs to leave probably you so let's stick a bench in there um, birdhouse we'll stick a birdhouse in there um, come on that's, that's in my way bell post Bell post is better. It's big enough to see it. And you can be right there and move you next. Oh, Pigsty needs 
13 trees taken out. Okay, that's not going to happen. Yeah, so you're in the list, but we got a lot of trees to take out, and I want to get these people moved into here. Or do I? No, let's do the pigsty first. We don't need extra citizens so much right now. So we'll leave the... We'll let them take their time taking all these trees out. Did the... Yep, that got moved out. So can I work on this right now? I don't think there's anything else pressing at the moment. Okay, so let's grab a house. Uh, one of you. Drop you in there, F1. And... What do we do here? Do we do this and put something in the triangle? Or do we do... This and... This. And force a nice pathway. What is... Oh, you are. Okay. So you go out to there. You go as far as you'll let me. Well, we'll leave it short so we can play with this. This could go out as far as here. As soon as I touch the door right there then we we hit so we could just make a nice pathway down the side that's probably about the right spacing compared to that you will just head down until you're too long and do what I feel like you need to come back a bit that's a good amount there so that cleans up the entire corner or we kick it back and do something with this triangle. Oh, let's see here. Oh, I don't think we clicked on this last episode uh, here. We did get a teacher back and we have no kids. So this now has the kids. This has a teacher and no kids. So Ostrov has got a problem with schools within a certain distance of each other. It's just not going to do it. Okay, so we tried a school here, uh, here at the end of this road, it was right here. So that distance there, and it didn't work then either. So that guy to this guy. Is there another place to do this? If I put you back over here and you in here, would that then be enough distance to split this area up? How do we get more kids in school? Now, we don't really have to. We just have to have enough workers available to be a specialized manager kind of a job. So it's not that critical. Somebody popped in. Barvenkove. Tree just went down. Wow. So it's not critical that we have the schools here. If we have one functioning school here and one functioning school here... We've got, you know, 10 kids per generation that are happening, 10 to 20. So it's mostly just a matter of, you know, scratching my head trying to figure out why it is or isn't working. I suppose if I'm going to have a functioning school, it would be this one. More possibility of getting a full roster of 10 kids from all of these houses compared to this area over here. So if I'm going to do that, and you guys are... You live over there. You live there. Oh, you are the barber surgeon's child. You live over there. You live way over... These are all the kids from the other school. And you finally did go to school. That's the one we were playing with. Just, no, no, no. It was this one. The 11-year-old that's now 12 and still doesn't want to go to school. Unemployed, buying food. Hmm... So, I've heard from some of the comments that not all kids necessarily go to school. And Banished, they did. And Banished, pretty much when they hit a certain age, they just automatically went to school. I don't remember seeing kids that didn't. The idea that I'm being told about in this game is that it's a random chance. Some families just choose not to send their kids to school, and it wasn't a requirement back then. So, and that sounds right from that era sounds realistic family settling in so I'm going to fire you and then rehire you and we're going to send all the kids back to where they were since most of the kids are from this area anyway of, of town and just let it fill up over here 
and we'll leave that there because it looks good it fits the uh, the curve in the road just right wish I had something to put in the back that looked more like playground equipment but I don't even know when playground equipment was invented so that just might not have been a thing they actually just went to school to learn and that was the whole point anyway so you are built you are filling we've got we're full everybody's in we are at 312 now and everybody seems to be quite happy may june july august we've got through three quarters of the way through the year still sitting on a good supply um i'm told that peas will not are not feedable to the pigs so it isn't even an option to get rid of them that way peas can be dried i think that's why they have no rot no expiration so peas can be dried whereas something like an onion you well yeah i guess you technically can dry onion flakes but i think peas probably were dried more commonly back then than onions were so that must be why this has no bar rather than just an oversight um let's think about this area am i no i'm not i'm not done yet you guys are 13 days left buying from you at this point Arelka. yeah let's do 1500 of you and buy buckwheat we're at the 3400 mark okay oh uh, wool we're yeah we're we're not turning it into broadcloth as fast this year so there'll be some left over for winter i can finally figure that out okay sheepskins we're going to leave alone iron ore iron and lime we have 19,000 in town still so nothing to worry about there okay so potash we're making our own we're up to 1300 already cheese we will never have enough cheese it's just a thing i and you want to buy it so i can't i can't buy it from you flour is 200 so it's just enough for ourselves potatoes there we go this is last year's potatoes yeah we planted a new round this time and I think we have some every year now between the two extreme farms, Farms 2 and Farm 3. So let's get rid of, and that happens in August, like 1,200, 1,300. Let's go for 1,300. Leave us six something. I think we can pull that off. Okay. So 1,300 deal. And you? Yeah. There's still technically onions there, but there aren't. Okay, so I want potatoes. You're down here somewhere. 1,300. And send you out there. And that is it, right? Potatoes. Yeah, there's nothing else to sell you, nothing else to buy. Okay, you're done. So with that, is there anything else that I need to be aware of? Can I just ignore the town for a while? We're building a house. Then we're going to hopefully take down this one more tree from, what are you, the bell post. Oh, okay, so that's, that can even be over here. That's not a biggie. And then we are on these three houses over here. So with that, let's spend the rest of this episode thinking about what happens out here. Um, this is all being cleared out against my will. <laughs> let's lay out some sense of a road here we could set this in too. the bridge is in now so if the road turns at this point and goes this way it can even be a little bit narrower I can't put a archway here unfortunately so that's not a thing so there's no way to really end this fence unless yeah I don't think I can build I don't think I can build in there can I? Yeah, place is occupied. So I can't come out over here and force that little area. Okay, so that's not a thing. A road would need to be about that wide, realistically. So this could shoot through here. Except I'd want an arch in there somewhere, but I can't really set that arch until I know where it goes. You're going to be here. That is fishing dock. Which might just be too much in our face right there. I'm questioning that one now. So, 
In this case, the archway would be in the center, I'm thinking, unless it's over here. The road will be right up against the building. So this road comes out over here. So an archway would then come on over here too, if we use this here. So aligned with that, down in here somewhere, in line with whatever, wherever this wall is. So this wall is about like that, and then level with the end of the building. I guess that's the spot. Um, I never thought to see if that was aligned. Let's grab that and see if it was. Did I get that right? Actually, pretty good. It's off a little bit. Let's set that before it bugs me later. Uh, control. Compared to the building itself. That's it right. Pretty much right there. Okay. So that's now aligned. You can demolish and grab another one of you. You will be aligned properly this time. Yeah. Now you're... To be there, we are almost against the fence. Which feels odd. So I'm going to kick it in a little bit so I can have the fence, another one of these white fences along or around the sand pit. Wish I could move the sand pit. So you're in a fence's width. So let's do that first then. You are here, and somewhere, like so. Something like that. Uh, construction complete. I thought it was demolition. That kind of struck me as odd. Okay, so that's the side of it. And you are aligned with... About like that. So we're just inside of these. And we're going to just about touch this. So you do something like that. Okay, so we get that built, and then I'll continue the fence down, and I think another arch over here somewhere that continue the fence down. Once I figure out my starting point, once this builds, it should be dead center, but just in case, let's go get rid of you real quick. Demolish the bell post. Okay, so we have a road now heading into the pigsty. Okay, um, you were over here, so do I build you or not? That's I think, at the very least, we change the order. You are this one. You get built first instead. You kick off over there. I might just delete you. You actually come in next. Let's get you built. Um, right there. Do you immediately. Okay. You're getting built and materials dropped off, I'm guessing. We may have to deal with that later. I'm kind of thinking this... Actually, I'm just going to say no. This goes away. And you need to be officially demolished, I see. We'll get to you eventually. This other fence is going to be pretty near that, so I'm going to wait till this is built first before I start laying other buildings up against it. That might just kind of ruin the look of everything. I do want this to be busy over here, but it could be warehouses. Could do other kind of buildings that would work along the coastline. So I, th I think that might have been too big. Uh, it is you. Yeah. This is far enough away where it's not going to affect the appearance. Okay. A lot of folks sitting out here. A lot of families live in this area. Um, unemployment now. Looks like what? Looking for a job 13 and 3. Okay. So the fence is going in there. Otherwise, back here, you can kind of go away. Until I figure out exactly what to do with you. How are you doing? You're barely holding up. Get rid of for production. That was a mistake. We might be stealing it out of other places in here. But we're going to need another one soon. I just wish I knew exactly where to put you. Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Maybe in this courtyard is where the, uh, the well needs to be. But let's grab a quick and easy fence. Just to pop something in. This roadway kind of goes from there to here. Let's just pop you like so. Like so. Try to break out some of these. 
Okay, we'll go with that. And now you're going to be at that same distance in, like so. And I'll kind of randomly do this so I can put every other section out so if they can still move around. But that's something like where the road needs to go from this side. Over here, it's going to come in at a different angle. And then we'll meet somewhere in this circle at different points and kind of distract the unevenness with buildings. I think that's the route to go there. So in this case, you're there. You need to go away. Uh, demolish you. And... You're one section. You're one section. Demolish you. And then same thing over here. Get rid of this one. And get rid of this one. Okay, so a future road goes through there somewhere. So with that, I have the... And now I'm kind of questioning whether I should have turned that around. Backed it up a little bit and had the front even with right here. I think that was probably a, a mistake. That's going to look funny. So we'll leave a pathway in here to get around. And maybe we'll somehow foster a loop somehow through here. We'll see. So the front of these buildings grab somebody. But this... I can't tell if that looks like the front of the building or the back. I guess that would officially be the front right there. Can I put the benches in there? I cannot. That's a shame. Yeah, too bad that... Because uh, there are some buildings you can. Um, the, the logging, the forestry... The, it's a big rectangle, but it hollows out this part, and we can put a bench in there. So, too bad there wasn't a way to do that in there and put some benches in there. Anyway, um... So, we're going to leave a pathway here. So, let's just do that now, just to remind me. It's going to go somewhere like this. And we're going to have a pathway somewhere like this. Uh, fishing dock got completed already. Oh, this one. That's what we're doing. So, no. Fishing dock. Where is that at? Demolish completed. Never mind. Okay. So we pulled the boards out. Okay. That we placed. Alright, that's fine. You're next. And things are being brought over. There's the sand. So sand... We can squeeze it in over here, but moving it from there to there is no benefit. I wanted to get it away from these buildings. But there's just no other green around here. Except for right there. And a very long way away from where it's actually used. We've got sand over here, and I guess that's possible. We've got sand across the way. And that would kind of give them more of a reason to travel the bridge we did sand over here and pulled it out of there which changes where this fence is built <laughs> the sand is used here in the brickworks that's why it's there and there's no other close place that works with our plan here yeah having it there is no different from having it here I think we just hide it behind fences I think so put some nice trees around here and do all of that yeah okay so you're building that arch where am I at, by the way? Uh, almost 50 minutes. Okay. So, yeah, that's why I do a lot of this in between episodes. I spend a lot of time just kind of thinking about things. Now, of course, you've all noticed that over all of these episodes, but where do we want the school? Let's see the school building. Your education? Yeah. So school over here. It seems like it should be back over here somewhere. As well as the... Well, we have another brewery to think about. That was in this list? No, it was with houses. Tavern. Okay, tavern is the word. So, a tavern out over here somewhere. A school over here somewhere. A... What was the other thing I wanted? Well, a chapel somewhere. Where that would be, I'm not sure. It could be almost along the river. 
It could be. Kind of right in here. We'll wait till the fence builds and the arches and we'll see how it interacts with them. What was the other building? I'd set something right here. Was it this I was playing with? Many episodes ago? Maybe it was. I remember doing this thinking, do we want this in here at an angle? But I didn't think it was the surgery. What am I thinking of? School. Um, health. That's the barber surgery. Religion. So just a chapel in this area. A real the, the big church, another one, if we're allowed to have two of them, would be over here. Can I place you? I can place you. Okay. Okay, so that just means a school and a tavern then, right? Is that all of the... of the support services that we're dealing with here? The tavern, the school, and the barber surgery. What am I missing? Feels like there's something else. But that one, that one, and that one. And then a small chapel. I guess that is it. Okay. Just felt like there was something else here. Okay. So yeah, I think a chapel would work right here instead of the fishing dock. The school needs to be near here. Two more row houses going in. A school. Yeah, that guy's backwards. That's going to drive me nuts, but no, I'm not going to rip it apart and do it over. Um, so school, education, right there. And spin you around. I had you at an angle, but if you're away from the others and separated, then that's probably about the right place to put you. I'll pull that fence out of there. And aligned? Let's make it aligned with the road. And that officially is, I guess, aligned with this. So in that case, we're something like that. And over here, that's probably good. A little deeper. The river curves away, so the buildings could start curving away. Can I get just one tree? At that point, I can. Let's do that one. And I need to give you guys something more to do so you don't take all my trees away. That's one of the reasons I was kind of frustrated with these guys. Uh, we got 15 logs now, so let's give you guys something to do. So this road's coming into here, this road's coming into here. I'd say we're going to take out at least these guys. We're going to shave off some of these. road's going to head up that way. And we're going to take out some of these guys. So let's go with that for now. Um, I can see them being straight with the road. So there. I, I don't know what the buildings are going to look like. It's going to be probably four or five granaries in here and several warehouses. So are they all line up in a row? Are they set up in a semicircle? Boom, 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 boom. I don't know. But that's enough trees to keep you guys busy for a while. We'll do that. And you'll stop taking trees out from over here. Although, that said, they're now not going to take the one tree that I needed to get out here. I could have marked that first. I uh, completed the arch. Okay. And let's throw a wall in here. So the other arch goes, I'm thinking centered to here. I think these four are going to be it. Because this is in the way. I can't put a, a fence or an arch through this. There just wasn't enough room here. Okay, so the fence starts here. Whether it goes up to the building, I don't know. Don't know what that does. Maybe it just ends. Um, you, oh, I don't have a, yeah, I do, right there. Example, nope, that's not it. Now let's just grab the fence this way. So you're going from there. You're going to where? What looks even? And that is the wrong starting point right in there okay and the same distance out hits about like that too bad i can't go back and break them later the fence into pieces and just break out a section for the arch okay so you're there which is pretty much at the end of the the stone a little tighter than i'd wanted but that would work okay so that gives me a, a point to shoot for now, center is, we're going to say, between these two staircases. So I could go to here, 
see that stone work so you're there so that tells me I need a an ending right at that point right there hopefully that works let's see it again there so memorize that spot right there and then out over here somewhere yeah we're a tiny bit curved in there you're gonna go to about that spot right there and then you're gonna go into here and you turn red there right there okay so with that I can pull this section out and I can put another one of these in here somewhat in the center of all that that looks pretty good centered that way though is right there center with the fence is about where it's at I'm gonna go with that okay and we'll redo the fences in between later but that is the next one to build and I'm gonna shove you forward you guys, yeah, you're not that far away from the other building site. So we get this archway in, get these fences set permanently. I don't know what happens at the very end. Child has been born. There's nothing that acts as an, an ending point, right? Is there any way to craft one? <clears throat> You've only got so much room, you can't make a fence too small. I mean, I could make a little square, you know, fence, 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 fence. Kind of a square ending point here. Maybe. Hmm. We'll see. So this one, the well's kind of in the way from what I was planning on doing. The well could almost go here. It could go in the center. Yeah. Archway there, so we could well in between and well in between. And then maybe another well out here somewhere. Hmm. So once this archway is done, maybe the chapel can go in directly in line with the arch. So they come out and see the chapel, hatch the main row that takes them around like so. And eventually, as this all gets cleaned up, we should see a main road through here and a main road through here. Little by little, it's all going to start cleaning up. Okay, so we did get a school set. A tavern does what? Tavern on the water? The end of this road here. There's a reason for that road, okay. House tavern. So that is the front. Uneven terrain, you're not gonna let me build out here anyway. Now if I slope it with the river, the uneven terrain goes away at that point. Now, okay, what am I missing? That is the terrain right there. So you're about like so. Wow. It's all unbuildable in here. Okay. Well, got that question answered. What else do we do with the tavern? Kind of picturing a story here. Tavern off by itself for some reason. Though I would think it'd be on the main road. Somehow. Not near the school, so that probably was too close anyway. Is it more in here? I mean, the architecture-wise, it looks better than next to those. Kind of an out-of-the-way place. Kind of like in here. Um, this road probably could head straight in and be part of the tavern. Yeah. So there's another main road to work on. It's probably to the side of this building right through. Which puts you something like there. Now, up and down, which, where does it go? Is he aligned with this road? Or is he up in that area? I think he's up in that area. Okay, alignment-wise, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Trying to get where I can see everything at the same time. Yeah, let's do that. 
You're there. We'll back you up a little bit. Get a little more room. Okay. So the tavern goes in there. And there's... There's a question as to whether a second tavern actually functions. Or it just becomes a house. So I'll have to wait and see what that does. You're here. No, we got to take you down. So you're there now. And the pigsty is also in the way. But tavern are going quicker. There's only two trees. So we'll do that. The school kind of gets in here too prior to building these boat yards and other things that we still need to take out the two trees okay so that's probably the most logical order I'm at an hour okay so also in here I want to put in the glassworks and the pottery so they're off in this area somewhere and that's the last of our now, a distillery and brewery also go out in here somewhere. So they all feed off this main road. Their supplies kind of get stored either in here or over here in the, in the main storage area. And what happens along the shoreline, I don't know. Maybe these are more houses with yards. Maybe this is where the burger plots go instead. And to feed a little closer to... A functioning society rather than off here on the edges hmm I don't know then another bridge and they can go to work on the farms and hops fields out over here on these slopes oh I kind of like that idea and that way they won't be too far away from the ability to put in the market in huh yep the town's gonna keep changing and morphing and and uh, as, as as we build it further, new ideas start popping in. This is looking good over here. I, so the market storage area somewhere around here. Whether or not this continues to work its way through or we leave a forested area, I don't know. Huh. Exclamation point. On hold. Okay, we're done with one. Okay. So I don't see any reason why not to release you. So there is... What just happened? Married. Okay. These are all their relatives. Okay. You just married immediately. Okay. Um, and we still have... Did this get set? It didn't? We... I guess never finished that conversation, huh? These two are set. I've got to figure that out. What do you think? Do we leave a big triangle here? Or do we shape the road more forcefully with it? I'll set that one maybe next time. Give me your thoughts on that. What else would we do with this space if we were to make it much bigger and send this road more like up in this area across and then, I don't know. We've got this little thing in the middle of the road here and it actually kind of looks nice. So maybe that is the answer. Anyway, I better call this one done. I'm over an hour. I'll catch you folks later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.